Hey guys, we're back for another video. Today we're installing something that might be not to your taste, but it is to my taste. I'm really looking forward to it, especially now that I've seen them. So let's get straight on with looking at what I've bought. So inside here, the company that I bought them from, they are called Color Concept. And I have, as you can see, purchased some red seatbelts, which is wicked. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to install these. So obviously I've got the two front seats. Um, I haven't bought the rear passenger seats just yet. Um, they're 25 quid each seatbelt. Um, and then you pay like a £25 deposit for your own seatbelts. So obviously you can send them back and get £25 back. Um, so in theory these are £50 um, for the two front seats. So I'm super happy with them. Let's crack them open and have a super quick look and then straight on with the install. So hopefully this red here will be almost very similar to the ST red. But either way, I'm really liking that colour. It's like almost like a shiny two-tone red. I don't know. I really, really like it. So anyway, let's get straight on with the install. No messing around today. So, first thing we're going to do, disconnect the battery. Disconnected it here. And disconnected it there. Battery's disconnected. That way the side curtains and airbags and stuff won't go off when we're disconnecting the seatbelts, which we really don't want to do. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to remove, obviously we've got kind of this panel we need to take off at some point um, hopefully we don't have to remove this door car but obviously we will see how that works um, but otherwise it's just a T I think it's a T50 Torx we will have a look yep it's a T50 Torx um, so T50 Torx down here disconnect this and then you can slide your seatbelt over and pop it into there um, and then we'll pop off this panel and see what's behind this panel it looks like there's a little there's some kind of little cover just up here um, so we'll see what's under there maybe there's something under there um, but we'll see how it all goes there we go So that's off, which allows me to slide the bottom of the seatbelt off of the holder like that. So that's our current seatbelt. So now I'm going to pop off this panel and just see if there's anything behind here. Um, obviously I'm learning this all for myself as well. And then we need to get behind this panel. I might pull this weather strip out um, just to see, kind of see what's happening. Okay, so I've popped this panel off, and um, behind there is a small little Phillips. Um, but looking kind of down this weather strip that I've taken off here, um, it doesn't actually look that hard to take this off, so we'll see. So anyway, we'll pop this off, and then hopefully we can just kind of yank it off. Obviously, we've got to be super careful with this. There is still an airbag in here, which obviously has explosives. So, you know, make sure your battery is disconnected, and do this all slowly. So just to give you guys a quick update, um, I've now removed the whole seal. So the whole seal's come off. I've propped this up, so this is just a pull up, easy peasy. And then inside here, um, you can see there's clips. Hopefully you can see there's just clips inside here. I'll turn the exposure up so you can see. There you go, so inside there are clips. That's your airbag sensor, be super careful of that. But we're basically just slowly removing all of these clips, um, one by one until we get to the point where, you know, we can get, I think by the looks of things, we need to get most of this off, um, which is a bit of a pain, because it's all molded into one big thing. Um, but yeah, it looks like we need to get most of this off, or at least, you know, pry it back to the point where we can actually get in there and work. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna work on it. I've got it pried up enough that I can get all my tools in there and work on it, but I'm gonna explain it all to you guys first. Um, and then obviously you can work from there. So first of all, you can slide your seatbelt through this hole. So this panel doesn't need to come off. It just needs to basically be loose just so you can kind of slide it through um, to the point where, you know, that's on the other side. Secondly, 
See now I can pry this all back with my hand. There is a, so once again you've got to undo this, undo your airbag sensor, and then finally undo the T50 Torx belt there. And then up here, we've got a T50 Torx up the top. So I can obviously now, so I should now be able to just kind of slide my tool inside and then just undo it from there. Um, and hopefully we can undo it all without having to take all this panel off in order to do it. So the airbag connector literally just slid straight out, as you can see here. Literally just slid straight out of that hole. So that's off. So now I'm going to do undo the Torx bits. I'm going to undo this bolt here. And I'm going to undo the Torx bit up top. Um, and then I'm going to take the seatbelt out. Okay, so I've undone the nut up top, I've done the undone the torques at the bottom, and now, to my knowledge, this should just all slide out. I must admit, guys, this is very hard to do one-handed. Okay, I'm going to do it two-handed, but I just need to get it past this wiring. I think this wiring here um, is something to do with the airbag as well, so, you know, be super careful with that. I'm going to do two hands. But everything's undone, um, and it's just this clip up here, which I think unclips like that. And that is one seatbelt unit off. Um, so those clips are kind of stiff, the ones I'm looking at now, and just really just force them out. It's only a metal clip. Um, but yeah, that's that's it all out. That hole's just a tight fit. Um, so this is my old seatbelts. So let's go get the new ones. Yeah. So I slid the new seat belt unit into place um, obviously I need to do a little bit more lining up I'm not going to plug the airbag in just yet um, I'm going to now take this this is all very hard to do one handed so I am sorry for the um, the quality of all of this but we're going to slide that into there, slide it up slide that in and then slide that across Ugh like uh, that uh, so that's the next section done um, but as you can see it's all coming together very very quickly so now this um, that's the combination you need so you need the Torx bit through there the washer and then the thing that's going to go into here and I'm going to thread the seatbelt through here I'm going to thread this all the way back down to here and then in theory we have a working seatbelt so I'm going to do a little bit more of that and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute so just for this bottom bar, I just noticed I didn't show you guys how to do this. Basically, just if you, if you find the right angle, um, so basically you just twist it, and then you can pop the whole bar out, and then to put it back in, just pop it back in. Obviously, you can see. Hopefully, you can see where it's going down there. There's like a small um, outcrop just below the seatbelt itself. Yeah, just pop it back in, twist it round, and then it's going to sit back over there. But, we are looking good. We are looking good. So I'm just going to slowly start to put all this back together. Obviously we just need to make sure all these clips go back in. Uh, there's that screw up top that we took out. Um, and obviously making sure all of these are located. And I've now plugged my airbag back in. That was like the last thing that I'd done. Just, even though the power's off, it's just safer to do it that way. But anyway. Um, so everything's going to get plugged back in. Obviously this trim piece here needs to go on top of this one. Um, we're going to make sure obviously all this is seated nicely up here. But in terms of this install, it's been super easy. I'd say it's like a, a 4 or 5 out of 10. Like it's just pulling panels off and then I'm doing some Torx bits. Obviously you can pull them further if you want to. Um, but for me I'm happy to just work around the back of it. So this is how we're currently looking. Obviously I've pushed all the clips back in, still need to do the one up top, still need to put my weather seal back on. Um, and I'm now just doing up this bottom one, that's the orientation you need. Now obviously what I would recommend with all of these, uh, all of these torque bolts, so all of these ones, the big ones, um, just putting a little bit of Loctite on them. So if you can buy yourself a little bit of Loctite, pop that on there, it would just stop it all coming loose. Obviously at the end of the day, this is to save your life. 
um, not for looks, even though I've made it for looks. Um, but it's there to save your life, so lock tight the bolts in. Um, so just put a bit of that, you know, blue compound sealant. You just need like a medium strength lock tight, and it will sort you out. But yeah, I'd lock tight everything that you've taken out back into place. Um, but yeah, that's now all in. We have a working seat belt. That's perfect. Cool. So that's one installed. Um, I'm going to do the second one off camera just to save a little bit of time. Um, if I come across anything that I think you guys will be, you know, good information to have while you're doing this, um, I will let you know. But yeah, same process, weather strip off, screw off, start to pop everything out, some Torx bits, obviously your airbag connector, um, pull everything out, um, disconnect it, put the new one in. It really is quite simple. So I have found one interesting thing, the airbag connector actually has, if I can get my hand in there. So the airbag connector has two clips on the outside, so where I'm pinching here, you'll feel the clips, but there's actually one clip there, and one clip on the other side, and you just pinch it, and kind of wiggle it upwards. Obviously don't bend the connectors inside, and then it pops off. So there is two clips on the airbag connector itself, which is interesting because that one over there wasn't connected properly. That just popped straight off without me even touching it. So yeah, interesting. Um, so yeah, just make sure you unclip on the sides and basically it's just a squeeze and pull. So, seat belts are in, um, they're working perfectly. I've got my passenger one in as well, you can just see it here. But in my opinion, having this red, um, I love it. Hopefully you can kind of see how similar the reds are. So, I'm really, really, really happy with it. Um, so, big shout out to Color Concepts. Uh, I'll link it all in the description below. Once again, this video isn't sponsored or anything, they're just making seat belts and replace them. I think they also do like, handbrake covers and gear um whatever you call that thing um yeah they do lots of little different things um so i would highly highly suggest them um i think personally this looks wicked obviously like i said it'll be a bit like marmite for some of you some of you will probably just like the black seat belts um but i'm really happy with these so any questions just stick them in the comments below get to 500 subscribers you get a giveaway um, remember to like me on Instagram at Car Rambles, and thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this kind of install. Um, obviously it was a bit kind of bang, 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 bang. But like I said, if you need any help, just DM me. Um, I'll be there. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.